Hey guys, just wanted to share my uh, the latest electronics purchase with y'all. Y'all have all seen the Uno, and that's usually my microprocessor of choice for projects, but I'm starting to branch out. And I've been looking at these nanos for quite a while, and I finally made the plunge. That's a Meduino Nano, trying to get a close up there. And you'll see that's a, that's a, uh, well, you might not see it, but that's a uh, Atmel 328. It's the same exact chip with the same exact performance as the 328 chip on the Uno. So you've got the same processor performance, same number of input output pins. Uh, it's just in a real small package. And you can see the difference. And the really cool thing about the Nano is once I solder these, it comes with these header pins. And what you do is you just solder, come in close again. See the little holes? You just solder your, uh, solder the header pins into these holes, which I'll show doing in a minute if anybody wants to see that. But once you do that, then you have the ability to adjust the camera angle here. Well, then you have the ability to actually just to make more sense once I actually get it soldered on. Then you'll have the ability to just mount your Arduino directly on the breadboard and uh, connect your pins from there instead of having to have an Arduino an Arduino with a shield on top with a little breadboard on top or have the Arduino and then a breadboard on your project and then have, have to mount both of them uh, like I've been doing lately so I think this is gonna make uh, make my Arduino experience much better and I bought three of them they came in these little packages here from uh, China from uh, Shenzhen Guangdong, China, or One Hung Low, as EEV blog fame Dave would say. Uh, but they're really cheap. The price is only twelve sixty a piece, plus a buck fifty shipping and handling. So that's an awesome deal. Uh, we'll be right back, and we're gonna solder these headers on. Okay, I'm back and. Now we're going to be soldering our uh, nano to the header pins here. And that's a simple matter of measuring out how many header pins we need. Cutting. And do the same for the other side. Okay, now that we've done that, we're just going to put the headers loosely into the Arduino and mount it on the board. And once we have it mounted on the board like this, the breadboard is going to keep. Oops. The breadboard is going to keep our pins nice and straight for us while we solder and everything's still in position, which would be very hard without it. One row over. Let's see. Put the 
sections down ahead of time. Okay, and now that's a perfect fit now. Okay. So the key here is just to get each joint nice and hot and just kind of let the solder flow by itself. Get a zoom in a little closer here. One thing, these joints are pretty small, so looks like a pretty good picture. These joints are pretty small, so you just gotta let the solder do the work. For you, so you don't get too much solder on there. It's not going to take a big bead. It's a nice little rounded, this nice little rounded mound there. Really, you can. Almost just make sure it's on there. Uh, make sure you're on on the joint real good, and the solder will just kind of take care of itself. Just a little tap. Make sure you're on the pad and the pin real good. And if you have some solder left over, like I do there, you see the little round ball on top. That's not a good joint. Just go back and kind of pick that solder up. You can use it for your next one. Or if you get too much, you can clean it off on your sponge or whatever. These joints are looking pretty good so far. But it didn't take a lot. And if you're old like me, it can be kind of hard to see. Once the solder goes in, it's easier to see from the side view. I think those are all pretty good. Whenever you need to do a quick visual inspection from the side when you get done, we'll be, I'll show you that. It's lined up again. Okay, let me go down the other side. I'll have to excuse my current solder iron. I had a decent one and uh, I broke it on my last project. When I, and when I say decent, I mean $30 one hung low special. As opposed to this $10 Radio Shack one I'm using in a pinch. And just going down quickly, dabbing the solder, and I've got a big ball <laughs> hanging off the right now and then, so you might be able to see that, let's see, yeah i got a big ball on my iron right now, I need to clean that off on the sponge. Really, you can hardly see the solder going in. And I think I'm about done here. I'm going to do a quick visual inspection. See what it looks like from the top. I'll pull it off carefully. They're kind of hard. Yeah, that's not a good way to pull it off. Bent some of those end pins. I'll straighten them out next time I put it in a breadboard, but so anyway, as far as visual inspection goes, if we can get a if we can get a focus here and come on in, focus. There we go. 
you can see we got a side view here and you can see we have pretty good dome shapes this one right get a pointer of some sort the only one that looks somewhat questionable right now is let's see this is not a beautiful solder joint it looks okay but other than that I think we're good and take a look at the other side there we go and this one's kinda rough looking but it, they're all making good contact and don't look like any cold joints here so this is The Arduino Nano, or actually, this is a Muduino from eBay, and hopefully, you'll be seeing it in some projects soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, just powered the uh, Nano up for a quick test run, and I remembered that there is actually one cool feature on this that uh, may come in handy that you can run these. Uh, nanos in either this is a switch right here and you can run the nano in either uh, let's see that is 5 volt mode or 3 volt mode and you could probably see a difference in the uh, brightness with that LED there and uh, it comes with the uh, blinkier the blinky uh, LED program in, in it already by default. So pretty cool. I know it runs. I want to say it runs at a uh, half speed on three volt mode. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.